Hey everyone, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Holly Jolly plan with me to share with you all. And this week I am planning for the week of December 11th through to December 17th. And I am using a Crest Press kit. It is it was the October mystery kit and I saw it did have a name it's called winter wonderland which is exactly like the theme of this week it's giving very uh holiday market vibes and I love a holiday market so when I saw that this was the mystery kit I could not pass it up plus there was a, a mistletoe foil bundle in like the bronze gold so I picked that up as well because I was like I feel like it matches the kit perfectly I I think that foil bundle actually went with this kit so that's why it worked out so well because it has like little little holly and some sparkles so it's very pretty but like understated in a way that I think like matches this kit so well um so yeah that's the week that's it that's the week that's the whole week um yeah so this was actually a really good week I even ended up putting in the sidebar like a little munchkin with its battery recharged I felt very good this week i felt very tired at the beginning of the week it's coming from the week prior but once i got some sleep and this week that like this week went by so fast that i was just like oh it's the weekend again and i had the whole weekend to myself i didn't have any plans and it was just whatever i wanted to do and I got to do so it was really nice very recharging and I felt in very good spirits it doesn't feel like the holidays to me this year for some reason I still love the holidays and I'm forcing myself to be like ah the holidays but it just doesn't feel like Christmas and like the holidays for some reason but I don't know even a lot of my gifts like just aren't wrapped I'm still waiting for my sister's Hanukkah gift um, I think I mentioned in the last plan with me, there was a New Year's present I wanted to get my sister. And my mom was like, no. And then like, I'm assuming because she got it for her. So I was like, what do I get my sister? And like nothing's wrapped. And I haven't given my sister like a single holiday present. Um, I found um, a really fun gift for my brother-in-law. He wanted money. And I was like, hey, I don't mind giving people money if that's what they ask for. I know sometimes it's like taboo or like, don't do that. Like get them a gift. But I'm like... I, I would just rather help them buy something that they want, you know, instead of like spending like a good chunk of change on something that they were like, this was in your budget to get, if that makes any sense. Not in like a bad way, but like in a good way. Um, but then I did end up going to the Union Square holiday market this week after work. Um, and I ran into this artist who makes these little like pigeons with the Empire State Building. So they're like looking at the Empire State Building and having just like small conversations. And one of them said, um... I could agree with you, but then we'd both be wrong. And I was like, oh my God, that's Brandon. And so it's just like a small, cute, like little doodle. And I bought that for him. It's framed. It looks really nice. And I stuck money like behind it. Um, so now I'm like ready to give it to him because like everything does not feel like the holidays. So I'm like, I have this gift for you. I'm just going to give it to him when I see him uh, very soon. So um, the week, like for Christmas weekend, um, it won't be Christmas when I give it to him and we don't really celebrate Christmas, but um, I will give that to him. Yes. So anyway, moving into the sidebar, I have my two habit trackers, uh, the square box that has the um, munchkin in it with the battery recharging, and then I have my countdown to Disney, and then after that, I have my ombre heart checklist of to-dos, which I forgot to make scripts for, and I've been fighting with my silhouette uh, for like the past 24 hours. Uh, it was a miracle I somehow got like the last three days worth of scripts for this week cut and sorted so I could do this plan with me but I've been trying to print a new shed shed oh my god sorry a new sheet of scripts um to just like fill in some of the blanks I also have dreamlight valley scripts but I, I don't know where they are so I had to print some of those but um now this second sheet just will not cut I've printed it like six times it's a complete waste of sticker paper and I'm just super frustrated and there's no rhyme or reason to why it is or isn't doing anything um or it's like not working like all the cut lines are fine they're thick the, the the few times it does cut it cuts the first two lines fine and then it just doesn't cut it cuts everything off on like the six the last six lines so I don't know I'm very frustrated with it so I'm just sitting down to film this thankful that at least the scripts for this week are done but yeah there's a lot of blank spaces in this spread and I don't really like it I probably won't share the spread until I do manage to get those scripts sorted but I really wanted to get this plan with me out because I was so set to be like on time and have this up on Friday at 8 a.m but you know 
such is the case that it does not happen for me. So yeah, anyway, moving on to Monday, the first thing I wanted to mark was that it was Lila, Andrea's daughter's birthday. So that goes right up at the top. And I was super duper tired this day because I stayed up with chest pains the night before. And so I didn't really get to go to sleep at like a reasonable hour, nor did I have like really good sleep. So I went to work and this also happened to be the day that, um, My office was having their Christmas dinner. We went to like an Italian restaurant. They gave us really nice gifts. It was um, like Lululemon um, crossbody bags, which are so nice. And I'm probably going to take to Disney with me. Um, They had like a bunch of different colors. So they were like, go pick so you can get the color you want. And if you don't get the color you want, trade. I was like, that's really nice. And then the dinner was great. We had like Italian food. And it was just nice hanging out with my coworkers outside of work. I'm very much the type of person who's like, super friendly and like hanging out with people at work but as soon as like it's time to clock out I run out the door so it was really nice to hang out with everybody and then the last thing I did was just uh read more of my Xmas emergency then moving on to Tuesday the first thing I had to mark was that it was Nick Andrea's husband's birthday there's a lot of Nicks in my life but this was um Andrea's husband next week I also have a birthday for someone named Nick so this is it's fun. Um, then we had a team meeting this day. So I marked that next. And then I marked that I went to, I had work, started seeing my patients. And then I pretty much spent the whole day, my commute and like coming home, reading more of my Xmas emergency. It was getting cute or at least just like to a part where I was engaged in it enough to keep reading. I, was like between giving this book three or four stars like I really didn't know it was definitely not a five star read and I was just like something about it I didn't like love but I liked it and like I guess to some extent I enjoyed myself reading it but I don't know so I gave it like three and a half stars but on Goodreads I gave it a three um then I got some happy mail for Crest Press and a little turtle sticker to put in my 2024 planner because my friend Kelly is having a baby like sometime soon my my money was on like she has it written down on December 23rd at like seven but I can't remember if it was 7 p.m or 7 a.m part of me thinks like p.m but I don't remember. But anyway, so we've been calling the baby turtle. I call her squirt. Um, so I got a little turtle sticker to put in my planner for next year because I thought it would be really cute to like represent the baby that way. Um, and then I played some Dreamlight Valley. And like I said, I don't know where my scripts are. And the ones that I made just for this spread aren't cutting. So that will be blank and I hate it. Uh, Cause there's like a lot of like, if it's like one sticker, I'm usually okay with it. And then I'll post the spread and like leave it and like put it, the sticker back in later, but it's just, there's so many of them. Um, then on Wednesday, I treated myself to a little bagel and I finished reading uh, my Xmas emergency. I had like maybe like a couple, like a hundred pages left or something like that. I, mean, I had like an hour and 15 minutes left to read um, a- according to my Kindle. Then I had work and we actually had a raffle at my office. The doctors were gifted to like away suitcases. Um, well, they were gifted a bunch. There's five doctors. <laughs> um, so they were gifted two suitcases, uh, five suitcases. Sorry, I guess five suitcases. I don't know why they would be gifted two, But anyway, so I guess two of them didn't want them. And they were like, uh, just make a little raffle, put everyone's name in and then raffle it off. And um, whoever pull out two names and then the, they win the suitcases. So they're like a check bag, black away suitcase. And I was like, yo, this is like a really good raffle. Um, so, of course, I did the most and like pr- like wrote everybody's name down, made a little tree to put in a little raffle thing. And then later in the day, it's like lunchtime. And um, one of the doctors, I guess, is like, pull, like I'm walking into the office like during my lunch break and he's already like he pulled the name out of the little like baggie that we put everything in. And I was like, who won? And it was his assistant. And I was like, that's rigged. Of course you would pull out your assistants. And he was like, no, I said to everybody here, I was like, if I happen to pull out my assistants, just know I didn't know. Like I just put my hand in there and like pulled out my assistants. And I was like, that's rigged. Yeah, right. Like I was joking, obviously. I'm like, that's rigged. Yeah, right. Like this was all like like, like, like a plan, a ploy for her to win the suitcase. And then he went to go pick the second name. And I was like, no, no, let me do it. Cause I'm an unbiased uh uh, name picker or whatever so I, he's like fine here you go so I put my na- my hand in and I'm just like rattling them all around I don't like they're all the same size I don't know whose name's on what and one of the assistants is like oh pick my name and I'm like yeah sure totally and so I pick a name out and I go to read it and all I see is Essica like when I'm trying to like open it and I went oh no I picked myself <laughs> 
<laughs> so after all of that of like giving the doctor a hard time, he goes, yeah, so you go and pick yourself. And I'm like, I didn't know. Like I even almost put my name back in because I felt like it was unfair. But everybody was like, no, you picked your name out fair and square. Take it. Like, congratulations. And I was like, thanks, guys. But like, I felt I felt like I had rigged it, even though I didn't. So that was fun. Fun story. <laughs> then after that, after work, I had to go to my Botox appointment. I get Botox under my arms because I'm a sweaty girl. Um, and then I started listening to Icebreaker on audiobook. And when I got home, it was pretty late because I had to wait uh, a really long time at the doctor's appointment because he was running late. Um, so I got home and I was just looking up flights to Vegas and was like... Fudge it. I'm just going to book them now. I don't know how much more expensive they're going to be closer to, but like I want to fly on Delta and so I shall. And so I booked my flights to Vegas. I did it in a way that so that it was like under a grand. But the way that happened was is that one way I fly Comfort Plus and the other I fly in like the basic um, well, like the main cabin. I did I did not pay for basic because I do like to pick my seat. I don't like waiting to be given a seat. So I did that. Um, maybe I'll upgrade it. I don't know. But like I've been spoiled with Comfort Plus and like premium select, but there's no premium select on this flight. Um, anyway, moving on to Thursday, I marked work. And then after that, I had plans to take myself to the holiday market. And so I got a, a little bite to eat at Shake Shack at first. And it was really funny because I was in, sitting in Shake Shack listening to the Icebreaker audiobook. And if you've read Icebreaker, that is a saucy book. And so I'm just like eating my burger and listening to like Anastasia and Nate doing like the worst things to each other. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not like the worst things, but like when you're sitting there by yourself trying to just like nom on a burger and fries and just like no one knows what you're listening to, but you know, and it's just weird. <laughs> um, and then I went to the Union Square Holiday Market. It was really nice. I just walked around. I found some cute ornaments. I got one for my friend Carla. Um, I picked one up for my sister, which I should remember to take with me. So I guess I have something to give her, but it was just kind of like, and I saw this and thought of you um, gift. And then I got something for my brother-in-law as well. Um, then I just spent a majority of the time uh, listening to Icebreaker just throughout the day and on the bus ride home. I got home and I played some Dreamlight Valley and then just fell asleep binge watching some YouTube videos. Then on Friday, I went to the post office to mail out um, some holiday gifts for the Ravers and to mail out the little ornament for Carla. Then I um, had therapy and then I had a wax appointment and then I don't think, I don't know what I did between the wax appointment and having pizza for dinner, but there you go. <laughs> um, I think it was like a lot of planning things and like reading Icebreaker and playing Dreamlight Valley throughout the day, but I did the majority of it towards the end of the night. So I marked it at the end of the night, but like in between like the wax appointment and pizza night was like planning, listening to Icebreaker and playing Dreamlight Valley. Um, but then I watched the finale of The Amazing Race with my mom, worked on some planner things, listened to Icebreaker and then played some more Dreamlight Valley, which I really like the um, Eternity Isle, like the Rift in Time aspect of the game like the expansion pack it's really fun and I love the hourglass thing and I need to go back on there because I feel like I'm missing um like missing out on a lot of fun kind of like moonstone things like I like the shopping things I just like to pick up everything so I have it all um but yeah I also think there's like Christmas things happening in there but like it's not popping up on my computer or my game so I don't know what's going on there but anyway, um, moving on to Saturday, the first thing I marked was catching up on some Survivor. I was like two episodes behind. Then I played a little bit of Dreamlight Valley and then spent a good chunk of the afternoon FaceTiming my sister. We were just hanging out on FaceTime and then we had like a little dance party and we were just chatting and things like that. So it was it was really nice and I get to see her soon. So that's exciting. Then I went to Michael's because I needed to pick up some things for uh, the New Year's party that I'm going to. We're doing like a whole beer Olympics thing. If you've I don't know if I was still. No, I, I wasn't planning. Was I planning? I don't know. Um, For my sister's 25th birthday. Um, we actually, no, I probably was planning. I don't know. We did a beer Olympics. It was like neon black light themed. And we like, we went all out. We made a scoreboard. We made a trophy, everything. So we're trying to do it again for new year's. And it is a new year's Eve, 24 karat gold themed beer Olympics thing. Um, 
everything is like gold and black and then we have like we have people like set up into teams and then instead of everybody wearing gold like you wear like a gem tone color so like ruby amethyst sapphire emerald those are the team colors i'm team sapphire of course i got to like randomize the teams and i was like i saw my team and i'm like we're going sapphire because i love the color blue so that's 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 how I, what i did there but i went to michael's because i was putting together the scoreboard which i did do and it came out really really awesome like i outdid myself i think um, and then I worked on the trophy as well. I had to pick up some like styrofoam, uh, mini champagne bottles to like spray paint them gold, some spray paint, some gold paint, like jewels and gems, things. So uh, that's what I had to go to Michael's for. Then while I was like out and about on my errands, I was listening to Icebreaker. And then I had a hair appointment with my friend Christina um, just for a little bit of a haircut because my ends were looking real dry and she's close by so it's like easier to get more frequent haircuts. Um, then I got myself some Chipotle because my mom ate dinner without me and I didn't know what to cook because there's like really no food in the house for dinner. There's like breakfast food but definitely not dinner food. And then I got home and there was some happy mail from Paper and Milk and then I just spent the rest of the night watching Friends. And then last but not least, on Sunday, I FaceTimed my sister a little bit in the morning. I don't remember for what. And then me and my mom went to Costco to return some things and pick some things up. And then also made another pit stop at Michael's so I could pick up a hot glue gun, which I found out my sister has mine all the way in Delaware. And um, I also needed to pick up a few extra rounds of styrofoam. And then I also picked up something else, but I cannot remember so I don't know. Um, and then I really just spent the rest of the day watching Friends and working on the scoreboard. It I, like it really came out so freaking good. It's I, I got like a black oak tag. I painted like a gold border around it. Used my sil my my silhouette to cut out some shapes in gold cardstock. Like it looks really good really, really good. Um, and then I was working on the trophy as well, painting the styrofoam, which took a long time because I wanted to do two layers and like the styrofoam was just soaking it up. Um, also fun fact, you cannot spray paint styrofoam because it dissolves. So I had to do it like ye old fashioned way with a paintbrush and paint. Um, then I spent the rest of the night playing some Dreamlight Valley and right before bed, just to help me go to sleep, I read um, The Princess and the Grilled Cheese, which is a book that Andrea got me for the holidays. And it was so stinking cute. Like if you're looking for a fast, just like fun graphic novel to read. Oh my God, was this the cutest? First of all, everyone's named after a cheese love that and then it's just like a cute romance story which seems quick but they like put in a lot of details to make you understand that like a lot of time has passed and that these characters just like slowly but surely fall in love and I don't know I thought it was so stinking cute I really liked it I really enjoyed it oh, I gave that five stars um and I finished it in one night just because it's like an easy read and most of the time like you're just staring at like the beautiful art that's that's there it's so pretty and um the main character not the main character um Princess Brie in the book is the most gorgeous character I've ever seen her short little blonde hair and her princess dresses they were flowy and spectacular and I was like when I get married I'm going to use her as inspiration for a wedding dress because they were so pretty. Um, but yeah, so that's how I ended my night. That's how I ended my week. Like I said, it was a really good week, a very recharging um, week. Can't say I felt too many negative emotions. So for once, that was, that was a real nice treat. Um, yeah, that's all I have for you. I'm still putting stickers down, which is amazing. I don't think I've ever beaten myself this this far into the game but now i'm just talking and stalling for time so that uh planner jess can catch up aren't my nails fun i like the glitter and i like the green and the red on each hand it's really fun and it's gonna look a lot better with next week's spread which is like my christmas spread um it's what is it christmas countdown from scribble prince co it's gonna be good um after this i'm gonna go and fight with my silhouette again so because you can see look the ombre heart checklists are blank the dreamlight valley is blank I, I feel like you can't really tell but when i take the close-up pictures i just want there to be more scripts 
and there's not. So yeah. Thank you everyone so, so much for watching since this video is going up the weekend before Christmas. I hope you have a Merry Christmas if you celebrate and I hope you get some good stuff <laughs> and that Santa is very, very good to you and I will see you all next week. Bye!